Hello everyone, welcome to Akash for Science and today in this video I will be discussing the transit of Mars into the sign of Aquarius. Today on 7th of April 2022, Mars is going to enter the sign of Aquarius and this transit is going to continue till 17th of May 2022. And then Mars will leave Aquarius and it will enter the sign of Pisces. Previously, Mars was in the sign of Capricorn getting exalted and it's a very disciplined sign, very orderly sign. It talks about patience, commitment, disciplined, expressive energy. So there Mars was getting exalted. So it was definitely talking about our personal success, our efforts, our actions. Proper channelized energy can take us to definite success. That is what about the exaltation of Mars in the sign of Capricorn is all about. But it was our own personalized success. But now we are talking about the sign of Aquarius. It is the humanitarian sign of the zodiac. It talks about the group of people. It talks about the network circle. It talks about our society for the betterment of the society. What we can do with our innovative approach for the betterment of the group of people for every one of us in the society, wheresoever we live in. Now it can be a group of few people. It can be a group of many people also it depends upon our environment correct now every one of us by birth we have some kind of innovative ideas innovative thoughts scientific and futuristic ideas which can not only improve our life but if given chance that can improve the life of every one of us in their own way we all have that kind of innovative approach but most of the times we feel the fear of rejection, we feel the fear of judgment that if we express ourselves in that way, won't we we get judged by the people, by the same people for whom we are going to do something good, correct? And most of the times it happens. Due to that fear of rejection, due to that fear of failure or fear to get judged, we hide that innovative thoughts within ourselves. This Mars, this Martian energy, when it strikes the sign of Aquarius, will give a sudden spark within that innovative thoughts within us. It will allow us to improve not only our futuristic ideas, but also how to express it improvise it, improve it and take us to the ultimate success so that we can not only use those thoughts for betterment of our life but also for every one of us. As we all know that charity begins at home so it can start from our home itself. Now how to recognize it? Wheresoever the sign Aquarius lies in your chart, in your horoscope, you will always have right from your birth Every one of us has that. We will always have an, sign, an innovative approach, a scientific methodology. Now, if it is ruling your fourth house, like for the Scorpio Ascendant, Aquarius is your fourth house. So, you will have an innovative approach for your domestic peace, for your happiness, for your home, for your homeland. You will always try to decorate your home in some different manner so that it can stand differently from something else. You will always try to make something very secured because you will always try to protect your securities so that you can have mental peace. So this is how the sign of Aquarius works, wheresoever it lies in your horoscope. Now when the Martian energy strikes, you will feel that I am getting that spark of energy. Now I can work upon those things. Now I can talk, talk about those innovative ideas. I can work upon those innovative ideas without the fear of rejection, without the fear of judgment. Now even if you feel that someone is there to obstruct you, but you don't care because you feel that I am carefree, I can work upon those things. Now, when we become carefree, there is something which should be there 
which takes us towards towards some kind of boundaries because you have to understand that aquarius is also ruled by saturn freedom is good but that freedom if has no boundaries if it has no ends it can lead to some kind of difficult times also we have to be very careful regarding this kind of carefree energies it can give us to fly to create something new for the society but again if it is not used in some proper manner in some proper way that can lead to some destruction also that is what about science is if used wisely it can be a boon for the society a great virtue for the society for the group of people for every one of us but if not used in some proper manner we all know what science what kind of destruction science can bring correct that is what the martian energy in the sign of aquarius and it has got direct implications from the fact that aquarius is an inimical sign for mars so here mars fights it out to break the barriers of all those that fear of rejection judgments failures mars says that i i have to break all these shackles break this barrier so that we can create something new out of it now depending upon the benefic placements in your horoscope or depending upon the proper dashas which you are going through you can make most of the use of this particular transit of mars through the aquarius because uh, since i said that aquarius is an enemical sign of mars and mars is that fiery energy aquarius is the fixed sign but it's a airy sign it is very stubborn sign but at the same time it has got that airy temperament that air temperament together with the fiery energy of mars can bring that big hot blown air so that huge energy if not channelized in some proper manner that can lead to some kind of problems in our life this has got some strong relation with the fixed nature of the sign of aquarius because it continues it never stops now what about the futuristic ideas what about the innovative ideas how are you going to do it it depends upon the placement of mars and the aspects where it looks upon now you see uh, when we talk about the innovative thoughts or methodology it is about our expression through our speech correct mars by its fourth aspect will directly look into the sign of taurus now where so ever the sign taurus is you can feel it what happens that it will directly impact our speech we will talk about logic we will talk about scientific things we will not talk about the age old methodologies no we will question it by this transit of mars through the sign of aquarius by its seventh aspect mars will directly look into the sign of leo so it will improve our creative self expression it will directly challenge our inner talents it will ask us that if it's not now then when so we will get the energy to work upon our creative talents our self expression now every efforts every action gets to success through hard work through continuous hard work correct so that means here mars will directly look into the sign of virgo by its eighth aspect so we will be able to do orderly hard work with proper discipline so here you are getting the help of aspects of mars through the sign of taurus leo and virgo now it's all about the placement of mars in the sign of aquarius that how we are going to use the fiery energy of mars and that airy temperament of the sign of aquarius to get that proper that big blown energy in the proper channelization path so that we can get the best result out of it 
so for every each of the signs which you are discussing that all the 12 zodiac signs it will have different kinds of results depending upon the placement of the planets in your natal chart and also depending upon the ashtakbarga points and the dasha which you are running through so definitely it has got something to do with our personal horoscopes also most essentially in this transit of mars in the sign of aquarius again it is going to enter into the conjunction with venus the mars venus conjunction happened in the sign of sagittarius again it happened in the sign of capricorn then venus came out of capricorn and entered the sign of aquarius and again mars has just followed venus and now it has again going to enter the sign of aquarius and getting conjunct with venus so this has got again two sides implication in one side it will allow you to improve um, to make the best of your creative talents your creativity be it uh, art craft music theater drama whatever it is again at the same time the same transit of mars and getting conjunction with venus if not controlled properly can lead to some kinds of fights arguments disputes between you and your partner in your relationships since venus is a natural benefic planet this will improve the quality of the houses which are ruled by mars in your horoscope in this transit this will also improve the quality of mars in the sign of aquarius because for venus aquarius is a friendly sign venus is well placed in the sign of aquarius okay so that means by the presence of venus it is improving the quality of mars and it is also improving the quality of the houses ruled by mars but what about venus venus is that that soft loving planet and mars is that fiery element in that airy sign so we have to also take care regarding that loving and compassionate nature or of ourself regarding the significance of the sign libra and taurus wheresoever it lies in the horoscope in our horoscope we have to take care regarding that also with respect to this transit till venus stays in the sign of aquarius okay now when you are talking about the venus also then uh, we must understand that till 27th of april 2022 venus will be in the sign of aquarius and then it will leave aquarius and it will get exalted in the sign of pisces okay so till then you have to be very careful regarding the sign um, taurus and libra where so ever it lies in the horoscope because you may feel that kind of disruptive energy sudden impulsion regarding those significance of the houses you have to take care of your relationships also okay during this time and any time if you want a consultation from me then check the links in the description section you will get my email id you can directly mail to me or, or get connect uh, connected with my facebook or instagram accounts okay and if you are new to this channel then tap on to the subscribe button click on to the notification bell icon so that every time i make a new video you get notified instantly so now i will be discussing the transit of mars into the sign of aquarius for all the 12 ascendant signs for the aries ascendant mars will be transiting in your 11th house of network circle your gains your friend circle that higher groups higher network groups big organizations so since mars is the lagna lord itself coming into the house of gains so it will improve your name fame in front of your network circle it is also it will also open new pathways of gains recognitions for you during this transit it will also lead to success of projects in whatever projects you are working through but since it is in the sign of aquarius this can also lead to some kind of tension between you and your friends friend circle or in the network where you are working through so you have to have proper control over your impulsion you have to have proper control over your speech because don't forget mars will look directly into your second house okay 
during this time you can have some kind of gains so you can directly use that gains for the investment for the savings you can use that this transit and the incoming of wealth for proper investment and savings rather than taking it into any kind of expenditures okay this is the first thing which you have to understand secondly if there is any kind of situation where you may feel that there is a tension between you and your network circle then what you can do you can channelize your energy to empower your friends empower your networks empower them to complete the project in which we are working together okay you can use that energy because this mars will make you very innovative regarding your whatever work you are doing through and it can lead to success also correct this mars and venus together will look directly into your fifth house of creativity intelligence learning new skills it will also allow you to learn new things to improve your creativity and then you can use that talent innovatively in your projects in whatever work you are doing and get success get rewards accolades for that okay so this is what this transit of mars is for for the aries ascendant people for the taurus ascendant people this transit is going to happen in your 10th house so this will give you certain burst of energy in whatever work you are doing means in your career in your profession you may feel very competitive during this time you can simply outweigh your opponents your colleagues your co-workers in whatever work you are doing but since mars is a malefic planet try to make sure that you are not going into some unnecessary competitive nature between you and your co-workers because it can lead to some kind of uh, disruptions or dispute between you and your superiors or your working environment any kind of person in your working environment that kind of situations can arise so what you can do you can work upon your personal work you can get success and you can set example for others also so that they can follow your path and get success in this way you can form yourself as a authoritative position or emerge yourself as a leader in front of everyone yes this mars and venus together will look into the fourth house of your home your homeland so yes uh, you can use your energy to renovate your house to decorate your, your your house or you can also have chances to have some landed properties if you are thinking about it then this is a good chance where you can take some landed property also mars will directly look into your first house also by its fourth aspect so any kind of unnecessary competitive nature or anything any kind of work which is not required but you are doing some you are overdoing some work that can lead to some mental anxiety also so take care regarding that okay and another thing is that mars and venus these two planets forms your first and seventh lord so this can also make sure make sure that you are not going into any kind of unnecessary arguments with your spouse okay you have to take care regarding your domestic and marital happiness also so that's it for the taurus ascendant people for the gemini ascendant people this transit is going to happen in your ninth house of higher education along with venus now venus for the gemini ascendant people is the fifth lord that means you are getting the skill of intelligence creativity and energy of mars in the house of higher education higher spiritual knowledge that means that during this time you will have the proper energy to learn new things any kind of new ideas it will be very easy for you to grasp uh, grasp it to take it during this time you will also become very passionate you will also become very straight forward regarding your belief system or you may also feel that whatever things we know is the best is the correct so this can also lead to uh, some kind of point of difference between you or someone else who is trying to differ from your thoughts that can lead to some kind of difference of opinion or there can be some kind of fights also so it is a good time to give uh, some importance to that person also because when that person will give some knowledge will talk about some kind of wisdom it is a brilliant time to learn new things from that other person also 
so try to give some opportunity for the other people when you are discussing regarding any kind of higher knowledge higher spiritual knowledge it's a brilliant time when we can learn new things from those people also secondly uh, since mars and venus together will improve your creativity or uh, your actions your hobbies you can also have some travels to explore new ideas to explore new knowledge spiritual communities or any kind of far away place where you can take yourself to some adventure or you can learn new things okay by this way you can not only get some happiness but also it will make you feel peace because your energy will be channelized in some good manner okay and since ninth house also deals with our elders our guru our father during this time it is highly essential that you pay proper respect to your elders because here mars is that energy mars will make you feel that you know everything you will try to break down the cycles you will try to, try to break down those unorthodox uh, that all uh, sorry all orthodox methodologies or principles but in doing all these things or in learning new things don't forget that elders their blessings are essential in order to get success in our life so don't forget to take blessings from your father from your guru from your elders okay so that ultimately whatever you learn whatever you do those blessings will help you out and pave the path of success in front of you okay for this sign of cancer the cancer ascendant people mars transit will be happening in the 8th house this transit has to be taken care of i will say because first of all mars is your 10th lord okay coming in the 8th house now 8th house has the energy of sudden transformation sudden ups and downs so whatever work you do at times you may feel that i am not getting the recognition from that work because 8th house is the house which deals with some dark energy something which is hidden something which is mysterious there can be some kinds of ups and downs which can come suddenly some transformative changes may come in your career all of a sudden it can come this particular transit can also bring out any kind of habits which are not healthy for us in front of us suddenly it can come out because mars will dig it out those particular things which are not good for us ultimately it will come in front of us now it is our responsibility whether to remove those insecurities those fears or those unhealthy practices from our life or to just uh, take the uh, things which you are going through as it is because in every one of us uh, of our life there are certain things which has to be removed which not only transforms us in some good manner but also brings some good changes within us this transit of mars to the sign of aquarius in the 8th house for the cancer ascendant people will take out those particular things which are not required for us which are not good for us that it will point it out those insecurities those fears those unhealthy practices or anything which is not good for us okay so we can remove we can subside those things and bring a new change that will be a transformation for every one of us for the cancer ascendant people secondly this mars and venus together can help you channelize your energy in some spiritual way of living you can do meditation you can do yoga spiritual practices or physical exercises during this time don't forget that 8th house is 12th from the 9th house so whatever work you do it should be properly done with proper righteousness otherwise that can lead to some kind of loss of name fame and reputation also because mars is your 10th lord don't forget mars is yes mars is your 5th lord also so that means you can learn new things related to ancient scriptures you can learn new things related to spirituality occult during this particular transit yes since mars is transiting through the 8th house so i will say that take care regarding your health also don't get over impulsive don't get over passionate 
have control over your instincts have control over your impulse and anger otherwise it can lead to some kinds of health issues also injuries accidents don't forget that okay take care regarding these things for the leo ascendant people mars will be transiting in the 7th house now this transit has to be taken care of because this can lead to some kind of arguments between you and your spouse your partners this is the time when you have to have proper control over your ability to control the stress and anxiety it will be coming directly in front of you that how much you have the ability to have proper relationships proper behavior with your partner or any kind of problems when it comes between you and your partner in the relationship how much you are able to tackle those problems this kind of challenges will come in front of you and you have to face it and then only you can understand that how much these transits of planets are getting through you and making you matured during this particular transit you if you learn to cooperate your spouse or don't even hesitate to take cooperation from your spouse because this has nothing to do with ego in fact it has the it has everything to do with the proper sense of cooperation between you and your spouse more you practice it more you do it it gives you more better results most importantly this transit of mars through the 7th house for the leo ascendant people will directly look into your second house of speech first house of your personality so any kind of unnecessary fights arguments between you and your partner or your spouse business partners that can lead to some kind of anxiety stress uncontrollable impulse and anger have control over your speech during this time okay this can also inversely impact your profession also because mars will look directly by its fourth aspect onto the 10th house of profession okay so take care regarding these things for the virgo ascendant people mars transit will be happening in the 6th house i will say it's a good transit because this transit of mars will innovatively use your uh, use your intelligence to take you to success you can take it as smart work although 6th house talks about the hard work but since it is the sign of aquarius the scientific approach to do any kind of things and energy of mars going through the 6th house so it is like converting the hard work into smart work and getting the work done getting the ultimate success so here i will say don't overdo anything do as much work which is needed for you otherwise it can lead to some kind of jealousy between you and your coworkers your colleagues or even your superiors also this can lead to some kind of competitive spirit over competitive spirit between you and your superiors authorities so that can lead to some kind of problem otherwise you will feel that whatever work you are doing it is getting to completion it is getting to success so use this energy in some proper channelized way so that you can get all your work done on correct time in a right manner and at the same time don't uh, get into some unnecessary competitive approach okay now secondly sixth house also deals with obstructions sixth house also deals with um, injuries accidents enemies by this transit of mars through the sign of aquarius along with venus in the sixth house it will curb down your opponents it will curb down your enemies but again at the same time you have to have proper control over your instincts don't get over passionate over indulgence in anything can lead to problems because sixth house also deals with accidents don't forget that injuries so have control over your instincts have control over your energy because uh, sixth house also deals with hard work so you may feel that i can do this and that can lead to problem have calculative approach to anything okay for the libra ascendant people this transit is going to happen in your fifth house mars is going to enter your fifth house in the sign of aquarius and it is getting transited with venus now this transit of mars and venus for the libra ascendant people in the fifth house is creating a raj yoga is also creating a dhan yoga because uh, mars is your seventh lord and second lord 
Venus is your first lord and eighth lord. So it is creating a Raj Yoga and Dhan Yoga together in the fifth house and looking into the eleventh house of Gains. So through your collective approach to learn new things and expressing yourself, those knowledge, those intelligence, those, uh, those skill set creatively can not only give you name, fame, but also can give you lots and lots of gains, income. It can also improve your reputation in front of the society. Now, how you are improving it, how you are working through it, that will depend upon this particular transit. But don't forget that this transit is, Mars transit is for nearly about 40 to 45 days. So definitely, if you can work upon it, you are definitely going to get good results out of it. Okay. Now, since Mars is transiting through the enemical sign of Aquarius and fifth house deals with anything which forms our within self, our within energy, that self comes from the fifth house. It talks about our inner inclinations, our any, any kind of things which takes us to joy, pleasure, what we are from inside, that can be understood from the fifth house. And when a Mars, Martian energy, that fiery energy and that airy sign of Aquarius comes in the fifth house, suddenly it creates an upsurge of whatever things we like. We may feel that whatever things we like, we can express it, we can do it in that carefree manner. So have proper discipline during this time because don't forget Mars by its fourth aspect will look into the eighth house. Eighth house is that transformative energy, sudden ups and downs, accidents, injuries. Mars by its eighth aspect will look into the sign of Virgo, your twelfth house. Two Dusthana houses are getting impacted at the same time. So proper discipline is required regarding any kind of work which you are doing. It can lead to some kind of overindulgence or uncontrollable instincts arise in anger, mental stress, anxiety at times. You may feel like that. So you need to have proper discipline, proper dispersal of energy, proper channelization of energy. Then only you can get better result out of it. Because when you have energy in proper control, you can use that energy in learning new things, expressing yourself in creative manner. Okay, that's the thing which you have to understand. Now, when you are talking about the Scorpio ascendant people, Mars is entering your fourth house. This transit of Mars in the fourth house basically talks about how you are dealing with your inner sense of spirit peace, happiness, marital happiness and domestic happiness both. Is there anything which is going through your mind which you couldn't express regarding your home, regarding your marriage? This is the time when suddenly you will speak about it. It is just like a volcanic eruption. Make sure that when you are talking about those things or when you are expressing your thoughts regarding uh, anything which is uh, which needs to be corrected or which you want to be in your domestic uh, plan or in your married life make sure you are doing your best because it can lead to some kind of unnecessary arguments unnecessary fights it can disturb your mental peace and create some anxiety because fourth house is the house of our securities so anything which is disturbing your security, all of a sudden this entry of Mars into the sign of Aquarius in your fourth house can lead to that volcanic eruption. You may suddenly feel that um, I need to talk about it or I need to clear this problem and suddenly this can lead to problems. Okay, Because don't forget, Venus is your seventh lord. Venus, your spouse will have the energy to protect the things from that fiery energy of Mars. Venus will try its best to calm down the situation, but Mars is your Lagna Lord. That means it is your own approach, how you are improving the things. It is about your own calculative approach. So what you can do? You can use your energy 
in some physical work at your home you can renovate your home you can um, decorate your home you can help your spouse in some domestic work or it it is a best time to use your energy at your domestic plan in any kind of work in gardening in whatever work you want that will not only give you happiness but also it will channelize your energy in some proper manner this mars and venus together will directly look into your 10th house for this scorpio ascendant people also mars is the first lord venus is the seventh lord so it is again creating a raj yoga in the fourth house looking into the 10th house so that means at your profession at your career with proper channelized energy with proper innovative approach you can get success you can get your work done with that high upsurge of energy okay just make sure that unnecessary arguments and fights has to be avoided during this time okay for this sagittarius ascendant people this transit is going to happen in your third house and i will say it's a very good transit when we have lots and lots of energy and this transit is happening in the house of efforts we can use that energy in our efforts in proper channelized action it can not only lead to proper success but also lead to completion of our projects whatever work we do it will give you a very strong sense of communicative ideas whatever ideas you have you will be having a proper energetic communicative behavioral methods so here you have to also make sure that when you are talking with someone when you are having conversations with someone make sure that you control you have control over your instincts you have control over your energy and anger impulsion otherwise it can lead to lead to some kind of arguments also with the people of immediate contact it can be neighborhood it can be your friends siblings or any person whom you meet daily okay you have to be very careful regarding that now this mars will directly look into your ninth house this can also lead to some kind of difference in opinion between you and your elders your guru or your teachings of your guru or father so whatever work you do whatever efforts we do if you are thinking that i have to get to that particular success or that achievement it is highly essential that we have the blessings of our elder our guru our father so there can be difference of opinions but ultimately we must have the proper respect towards our elder towards our guru father okay so that is for the sagittarius ascendant people for the capricorn ascendant people this transit is going to happen in your second house and by the virtue of this transit all of a sudden you will feel very passionate very energetic regarding your value system whatever the things which you possess whatever the things which you value all of a sudden you will feel that this is mine and i have to protect it all your insecurities will come come in front of you and you will feel that i need to protect it this can also make you very stubborn regarding your belief system regarding your ideas morals tradition which is at some time good also because it is we which which we should protect our moral system which would which should uh, improve our um, good morals our traditions which should improve the uh, traditional culture of our family it is our responsibility but again at the same time while talking about the belief system it is our responsibility that we should not get into any kind of difference of opinion or fights with someone else because some other person can have some different so some different opinion can have some different culture some different tradition we should also have the respect for that other person also otherwise it can lead to some kind of conflicts arguments by the virtue of this transit of mars in your second house for the capricorn ascendant people this can make you very dominant at your family matters between your family members so 
which is giving you a very strong personality but it is also coming with some responsibility it is your responsibility that you have to take care regarding each and everything regarding your family during this particular time and you have to also have proper control over your anger impulsion otherwise it can lead to some straightforward that high pitch speech okay you have to be very careful regarding that okay since second house also talks about the house of wealth uh, this is the time when you can um, work on accumulation of wealth but make sure that you are not going for any unnecessary um, expenditures during this particular time okay for the aquarius ascendant people the transit of mars is happening in the first house itself that means it is suddenly all of a sudden it is give, giving you that upsurge of energy all of a sudden you are feeling that yes i am getting that energy that energetic vibes are coming within you that whatever work comes in front of us or me i will be able to do it so even if you are thinking that i have that innovative approach or thoughts so that i can do something good for myself for every one of us but you are not getting that energy all of a sudden by the virtue of this transit you will get that energy you will get that confidence you will be able to take your decisions properly in that fearless manner but don't forget this mars will directly look into your 4th house 7th house and 8th house when we are getting that high energy and if you are unable to control it then this can lead to lack of mental peace also this can lead to some kind of uh, competition between you and your opponents because it will directly look into your 7th house it can lead to some kind of problems with your partners also because mars is the planet which doesn't know compromise this is a very good time for your self development i will say but try to make sure that don't get into unnecessary uh, arguments or disputes with your partner with your spouse although venus will also transit in the first house so it will give you a charismatic personality people will get attracted to you people will get attracted to your that high upsurge of energy but you have to also make sure that you are giving proper importance to the opinion of other people also and don't get too much into that uh, prop in that indulgence over passionate because don't forget mars will look into your 8th house so it can lead to some kind of accidents or injuries also okay this is the most important part for the Pisces ascendant people this transit of mars is going to happen in your 12th house now aquarius is all about the group of people and this transit is going to happen in your 12th house so that means even if you are working for the group of people you are giving your best you are giving your best of the energies but still you will feel that i am not getting recognized for my work i am not getting recognized for my hard work you will feel that even if i am leading the team but i am not getting the respect of the leader i am forced to do the work as a team the best part how to deal with this transit is that you can be very charitable during this time you can work for the betterment of other people without any expectations charity universal love because venus is also there anything which is done without any expectation healing proper healing you can heal other people it is just like a spiritual warrior you can take care of the people okay during this time don't forget um, since it is about the sign of aquarius in the 12th house 12th house also deals with any kind of energies which are hidden mysteries or hidden enemies also so you have to be very careful because aquarius is a inimical sign for mars so during this particular time any kind of hidden energies that that energy means that, that uh, doesn't means any kind of supernatural energies no hidden energies here means any kind of uh, personality Um, which have some kind of deception or deceptive thoughts or enemies can suddenly come in front of you 
so make sure with whom you are dealing with okay so this is about all the 12 ascendant sign for the transit of mars in the sign of aquarius so hope you have liked this and if you have really liked this video then press the like button tap on to the share button so that everyone can know about this particular transit of mars in the sign of aquarius and your comments are always welcome to me and anytime if you want a consultation from me check the links in the description section so that you can get a um, personalized consultation from me and anytime if you are new to this channel then tap onto the subscribe button click onto the notification bell icon so that every time i make a new video you get notified instantly so that's it from my side and next time when i come back i will be bringing another interesting video for all of you so thanking you bye bye